Hi. I wanted to do a recording for our light worker vision and community Patreon. I know I've taken a little um, pause for a visit from my mother. And I know we're going to come back together on Tuesday for another group call. But there was some things coming in today that I just wanted to share and bring those forward and see how we can um, be of service and just, yeah, pay attention to what feels right for you. So last night I could not sleep at all. And then this morning, um, one of the women, I do some of the light work um, meditations and work with contacted me. So we worked together and connected with Gaia. And I wanted to share a little bit about that because it may connect with you, um, apply to some of what you're doing, working on, but also to kind of help us connect what we're doing together more. And we can talk about it more on Tuesday and see what else can be. So what I noticed too, is I've heard this from others um, about not sleeping very well and realizing that sometimes we think we're a little off balance and things don't feel right. And yeah, there may be some healing and things we're going through, of course. And a lot of us are, are conduits where uh, our bodies are instrument, it's our connection with Gaia and mother earth. And so we're often feeling the collective or feeling Gaia. And so that was kind of what, when we met this morning, like that feeling of, yeah, I haven't felt quite right. I can't settle down, I can't sleep. So there's definitely something in the collective, something going on that felt good to, okay, let's check in. And so we started working and it just felt like there was so much um, like congestion and blockages and ways. And I think it's part of this process that the earth and Gaia is expanding so much and bringing so much light and energy and love and all these beautiful energies, but there's still kind of the old guard, the um, the other side of that, those sort of interfering energies, those energies that have been set up to keep people from becoming enlightened, to keep things the way, um, you know, to cap the uh, expansion, to cap women, to cap the earth, to kind of keep control of um, what some of these forces are wanting. And so a lot of it felt very strongly to just be present and kind of observe. So it felt like a lot of that energy for us is to be observers and to be observers in the state of gratitude and love and the power of that alone. And I think we all know this, but it's good just to be reminded and even just to hold that through our day is to love the earth, love nature, love the trees, the waters, um, keep shining that because it felt really important that each one of us really be strong now in our um, frequencies and our love and our empowered um, energies. And so, yeah, I just invite you to um, move into that state with me and, and feel that power that you carry as um, in service and from that state of the heart of loving, um, loving our beautiful planet and everything on it. And so um, we kind of worked with holding that space and that energy for, you know, witnessing and what we can offer in our presence, or if there's something specific. I was seeing a lot of bees, like swarms of bees come in. And so very gradually, very slowly, there was little indications of ways that just our witnessing was starting to shift some of the energies. And um, yeah, and then we were really called to work very specifically with different elementals, like really work with the air and feel that and experience and honor the air and the air elementals and just be with them and breathe with them. And, and even though it felt hard to breathe, like the more we can honor our own body elemental and the elements in our body, and then also the elementals 
the elements of the earth. Like it felt really important to acknowledge. So we did go through and do that for the um, water or for the air with the breathing. And then we went into the water and then deep into the earth and then later into the fire. So that's another place to um, pay attention to how you can honor that aspect of um, yourself and your own body elemental and how you run those energies as well as how we honor them in the, in the world and in nature. So that felt important. Um, and definitely the importance as we've been seeing of um, the energy of the mother and the grandmother and the feminine and the women, Mother Mary and Mary Magdalene and all of those um, exquisite feminine frequencies. So for us women, um, the importance of just being in our true beauty and um, state of whatever that is, our bliss, our um, honoring of who we are. And then what I wanted to just share a little about, because it was um, an interesting opening. I've had this experience before of seeing places on the earth that have cursed energy from some outside influence, like coming in. And it's often my vision of it is like seeing um, like a metal rod that punctures into the earth and creates, um, it's kind of like, I was seeing it sort of like a dark acupuncture needle. So it's like Illuminati using, or whoever, um, using these dark magic forces, whatever, to counteract the beautiful flow of the grids, the crystalline grids and, and the way the sacred geometry should operate. So definitely the grids and the grid lines and the grid activity was a very important piece for this. And that's kind of yesterday I kept getting those pieces because really the grid is the way that communication happens around the planet energetically, spiritually, it's the way connections are made and it also funnels energy where it's needed. So this is something that I feel was being interfered with. And the way I was seeing it was the first, I was seeing one of them and it was, um, wasn't identifying where it was, but then it was centered, we were finding in Arizona and Nevada and then across a swath of the South and into Florida. So there was sort of a big swath of these acupuncture points that were like disturbing the ley lines and the activity and being messed with, um, like messing with the grid, messing with the ley line activity. So, um, so what we were called to do, there's a lot of, and I think I'll just cloak us all right now as we talk about it, because it is sort of some big work. Um, and feel into whether this feels appropriate if you wanna contribute to this. Um, and we can do more of this on Tuesday, but the sense that this kind of cursed energy needs to be pulled out of the earth and needs to go. And so we were um, guided to let that process happen. We had, of course, a lot of support from all different dimensions and all different beings above, below and all directions to extract and help pull out these different rods in these different points and also the shapes they were can creating they were interfering um and anything that was really not supporting and loving the mother earth so it was quite a heavy experience but i felt like um i know rebecca you're in arizona um and there may be places that some of us live or you know are tuned into that were kind of sensing. So we were able to work with um, releasing and kind of redirecting a lot of elemental healing and healing energy to these places that had been messed with. And so to really hold a lot of love for these places to um, be renewed, uh, 
like a soul retrieval for these places of the earth to call back the elementals, call back the fairies, call back the dragons and get the energy flowing once again. And I was at one time seeing too a lot of energy, really making that connection about the higher heart being um, you know, that turquoise and magenta, sort of the reddish and a certain kind of blue energy and realizing too that those colors are kind of equated as well with Mary Magdalene and that red magenta energy and um, Mother Mary as a blue, beautiful sky, kind of lightish sky blue. And so seeing how, wow, like this energy now that's so needed from this quality of the feminine, the mother energy and the lover energy, and that these are part of that higher heart. And also realizing in the indigenous communities, some of them really equate coral and turquoise as um, also balancing of the masculine feminine, but also those two, um, the coral and the turquoise are really important medicine, um, sacred gem, sacred coral, and carry kind of qualities that really have to do with our relationship with the earth and the reconnection. So that was coming in as well, as well as mother wart essence. So just for a moment to finish off, um, maybe I'll do my little chime for a moment. And I just wanna spend just a few moments um, feeling the love, because that really is the only way that this planet will go through rebirth is through our love, the strength of our love, connecting our love with all others in this amazing planet. Connecting with the fairies, the elementals, the angels, the plants. And feeling the love for yourself, feeling love for the planet, feeling love for the waters and the land, feeling love even for those who are interfering or misguided or that we don't understand. So gathering and being in our presence. being the lioness as guardian of the elementals. You can imagine yourself roaring. Thank you. And I hope you have a beautiful day. I hope this was helpful and thanks for tuning in. And hopefully I'll see you on Tuesday or soon. Okay, thank you.